All right, now we had this 6.5 Ruger American zeroed dead on at 100 yards. Now we just said we're going to send it and go ahead and go to 1,000 yards. And what did we say? We needed to click it 30. 30.1 uh, MOA based on our ballistics table. So I was just going over with Adam. We're at two on the turret. So when we go back to zero, we need to be at zero there and two on the on the turret. And we're gonna go up to 30. So we're gonna go one revolution past the zero and over to six. Oh, all right, so we're just gonna dial up 24. So that was one full turn. 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30. Just gonna give it one more click. So they should be pretty good. So that Definitely. should be pretty close to a thousand. That should be pretty close to a thousand. All right. Now what do we do? Just take some shots and see what happens. Yep. Left the plane down there. Yeah. You'll have. That, you'll have. That, you'll have say, speed say at least. At least because it's blowing. Yeah. And you're I'll probably going to hold left edge because what happens is the, 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 the barrel's on. rifled like this, right? At extreme ranges, it really doesn't take effect till about 700. Uh, the bullet yeah, starts to pull the direction of the rifling. Huh. It's called spin drift. The bullet, so like when you get really far, the bullets always kind of like cascade like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust your windage just a little bit to give you a little advantage. You're probably still gonna wanna hold left side of the plate. In fact, I would just start left side of the plate, pretty centered up. We'll see where you're hitting and we'll walk in. Cool. Okay, if you look down there, Kind of centered up. There's two men right next to each other. Yep. Aim for the one on the left. Okay. It's in line with that left-handed row of closer target. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, I'm on it. All right, when you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Go left edge. Just a little under it, yeah, just a little under it, a little bit right. I didn't see where it hit. I mean, you just barely missed it. You were, uh, this is the man size target, you you were probably right there. Low and right. Low and right. So here's what I'm going to do. Go up a half minute. Yeah, we're going to go up. Uh, I'm going to go about it. Half minute. And then we're going to go. I'm going to give you. I was holding the left center. And, I wasn't on the very edge. You weren't on the very edge? Yeah. Hold very edge. Hold very edge. Like, oh, yeah. if, if this is the guy, just me. put your reticle. Just like, because the bullets are always going to that way. So, second shot, we're going to hit the target. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, maybe. All right. All right. Same spot. I didn't see that one. Did you see that? Look like it was still low. About the same spot. I can come up a little bit more. Or if you want to hold it high, you can. Hold on top of, hold by the top of the shoulder. Yeah, I didn't see it. I ain't, I'm not seeing them. Yep. Take one and see what it is. Yeah, take one and see what it is. That was good. Uh, that was like crazy. Not nearly as fast. I still hold a little left. Yeah. Alright. All right. We're going to turn into a sniper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm really liking this. We need to hang out more often. <laughs> Alright. So here's the fifth try. Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. You hear how long it takes to get back? Yeah. I could, 
I'll tell you, Wiggler. You thought I was lying, Dave, when I said it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Look at that deer right there. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there you go. Look at that deer right there. So, see that deer? Five shots with this rifle. Alabama Arsenal got me on at a thousand yards. That was sweet. Yeah. It's cool. I love how long it takes for it to come back. It gives you an appreciation of what you just did. Zero must wow. be off because that's almost ten mils. What well, should I send to somebody? Right. Or, uh, what do you want to do, man? You're on I'll, a thousand. Uh, thousand yard shooter. I'll empty this bag out. Ten mils. That's a testament to the room of America too. Because I've got hell eight. Nice. You're hitting the lower quadrant, but you're hitting. Maybe you can get on, but he's hitting around the belly button. You see that small one right there? Yeah. I, I held a hair bit higher on that one. So there's three in a row with a thousand. Yeah. About a six inch group, which is sub MOA. All right, so after watching the footage, after we filmed this, I realized I didn't explain everything perfectly as good as I should have. A lot of times, when you hear people shooting a thousand yards, they say, Oh, yeah, I joined the 1000 yard club, and then they're doing like a thumbs up and pointing to the steel that they hit, and they hit a piece of steel that's like four foot wide by eight foot tall or six foot wide by six foot tall. In this video, we are shooting man-sized steel silhouette targets. They're like 24 inches tall by like 18 inches wide. We're not shooting huge pieces of steel. We're literally shooting man-sized silhouette targets at a thousand yards. And we got on this steel super, super quick. Not by anything I did, but we brought the Ruger American 6.5. That Nikon FX1000 is a really nice scope. And then Alabama Arsenal guys had me on that steel at 1,000 yards. Awesome, awesome time. But back to the video, I just had to explain that. We're not shooting huge pieces of steel. We're shooting man-sized silhouettes. When you hear that ping, that's what we're hitting. Little left. I think I missed yeah, that one. The wind, the wind died. Yep. Mine just hit off the left edge, too. Oh, man. Well, three out of four run, I think. The wind, the wind three, just died. Pretty That's, dang good. Yeah. Yeah, a big, a big shout out to the guys at Alabama Arsenal. If you guys don't already know them, check them out. But Ruger American, we got it sighted in at 100 yards as they took me out to 1,000. And what, I think the fifth try. We hit the steel at a thousand, then got three out of four on the on the last mag with the Ruger American 6.5 Creedmoor shooting it suppressed with a Nikon Black FX1000. Not an expensive setup, and thing shoots good. And you guys know I can't shoot, so <laughs> it it does help not to have my rickety backwoods table though. But helps a little. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out Alabama Arsenal. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo hoo.